the Federal Reserve has played a game of cat and mouse with the markets. Um, and even after Ms. Brainard's speech um, was on Monday, uh, was seen as being more dovish and the chances and probabilities for a Federal Reserve rate hike next week fell to 15%. Markets didn't continue um, to go up yesterday. And um, yeah, many feel perhaps that the um, yeah, recent volatility, they don't know, will the lows in the Dow Jones be tested once more? Or will there be a direct continuation? Volume is back, so the market must decide now if it wants to deny or accept the breakout the equity markets did pass back in August. So if you look at the DAX, for example, if you look at the Eurostock um, index for European uh, shares, it broke out of a um, of the yearly uh, uh, above the April highs broke above that and right now this could be a bullish test of that breakout. If you look at the US economy and if you ask the question is it ripe for a rate hike then you could look at the poverty rate from the Census Bureau. The poverty rate in the United States fell to 13.5 percent um, after 14.8% in 2014, medium incomes rose by 5.2% to 56,500 US dollars um, from, from the uh, in comparison year 2016 uh, uh, with the year 2014. So there is right some, uh, there's really some increase it's the largest annual percentage point decline in poverty since the year 1999. But if you listen to Ray Dalio, which is one of the most closely watched hedge fund investors and one of the largest hedge funds actually, then he says that the economic environment is still too fragile to hike in September. So he sees that, okay, after a first and second quarter GDP, which hasn't been very strong. He actually um, expects that the US economy is growing by one and a half to two percent in the current quarter. So that is too slow, too fragile to get a hike done next week. The um, IEA, um, the International Energy Agency, has um, turned the page on or somewhat um, has a new forecast for oil markets just one month after being relatively bullish and for just one month ago they expected that there won't be any surplus in for the rest of the year that there won't be any surplus in the world oil markets for the year 2017. Yesterday they had a new forecast and they expect now that there will be a surplus in the rest of the year because that because um, demand world oil demand has gone down meaningfully so supply will be more than the demand side and so there will be no equilibrium for the time being. That's the same thing that the OPEC yesterday actually said. They expect non-OPEC production supply to grow strongly um, because of new oil fields from Kazakhstan and other parts of the world and so they also expect that supply will be higher than demand and so it's very questionable actually um, if the OECD inventories which are at 3.1 billion barrels at a record high um, actually um, if they will be going down meaningfully anytime soon and that also means that the forecasts and prospects for the um, oil uh, markets are bearish for the time being. So watch the 26th to the 28th of September there will be a, the um, International Energy Forum in Algeria and uh, Saudi Arabia wants to meet on the sidelines of that forum to talk about any production caps, which would be a first step to, to, to stop the increases in inventories, but that would not lead to any um, decline in inventories. That is only possible by more world growth.